micronutrient? What the heck is that? What's up guys, Savannah here from Blissful Bohemia and Holistic Health for the Modern Day Hippie. If you're new to my channel, welcome, hello, so happy you're here. For those of you that don't know me, I am a degree in chemical engineer, as a certified personal trainer, and your holistic health guru. This week at Blissful Bohemia, we are talking about fats. If you want to read the blog post that I put out two days ago, link is in the description below. I talk about the healthiest fats that you can eat and what foods they are most abundant in. So go check that out. So what is a macronutrient? Well, a nutrient is a substance needed by an organism to survive, grow, and reproduce. And macro means big or important. So a macronutrient is something that we need to survive. And the three biggest macronutrients are fats, carbohydrates, and protein. I have a blog post on macros explaining all about them. Go check it out. I'm going to link that below as well if you want to know more about macros and how they can influence you with your fitness journey. What are fats though? What are the macronutrient fats? Fats are a source of energy and serve many metabolic and structural purposes within the body. What are they chemically? They are called triglycerides. Triglycerides are three fatty acid chains combined with glycerol. And depending on their structure, they're classified as either saturated or unsaturated. Guess which one we're gonna talk about today. The biggest misconception about fats is that they make you fat, and that is not the case at all. You need fat for your body to function. It is a macronutrient. It is very important that you get them, like I said, metabolically and structurally important for you to live. The reason fat has a bad reputation is because it has a lot of calories per gram. Fat has nine calories per gram, whereas proteins and carbohydrates have only four calories per gram. So it's easier to rack up more calories when you're eating something with a lot of fat in it. Especially with all of the low fat um, products on the market that are marketed to be like healthier, better for you, you would think that fats are what make you fat. You think that they're the problem, but that's not the case at all. What actually makes you fat, what makes you gain actual adipose tissue, that fat tissue on your body, is a caloric or calorie surplus. And of course, that's easier to do when you eat more fats because, like I said, more calories per gram. Of course, not all fats are created equally. Monounsaturated fatty acids, or MUFAs, are what you want to focus on. So, like I said, check out my blog post that I wrote two days ago about MUFAs and what foods have them most abundantly. Those are the fats that are the best for you and you actually need, this is kind of crazy, you need to be eating monounsaturated fatty acids you need to be eating fat to lose fat. So you need to be eating MUFAs in order to get rid of excess adipose tissue. What you want to stay away from is trans fats or anything that is hydrogenated. Most commonly, soybean oil is hydrogenated. So please, please make sure that you're always checking the labels of things that you're eating, especially when you're eating out or you're buying like a product that you know is probably not that healthy, that it doesn't have hydrogenated soybean oil because that is just gonna come into your body and just train wreck you and actually encourage adipose or fat to come onto your body. And I mean, who wants that, right? Thanks for watching this super quick video. I just wanted to jump on here and say really quick, like fats are not bad. Fats actually, you need them and they can help you lose fat on your body. Um, but of course there are some bad and some good and I just wanted to clarify things a little bit. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more natural, holistic health content every Thursday. I've linked to my Instagram, Facebook group community, come say hi on that by the way, and the blog down below. Go check those out to learn more and educate yourself and so you can empower others and empower yourself to live a more natural, healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally healthy lifestyle. I'll see you guys next week.